Our Disney Wish has a new propulsion system. This is different. We are using Azipod, which is an electric motor driven propeller under the water. Really allows for some amazing performance. We've made the step from going from a conventional shaft line propeller and rudder to potted propulsion, which means it's a propulsion motor that hangs underneath the ship and it can turn 360 degrees. Not only are they very, very maneuverable, they're also very hydrodynamically efficient. If you want to stop the ship from going forward, you start closing them. This would be stopped engines. So stopped engines in classic propulsion, zero RPM, is because it puts pointing towards each other. And then if you want to go astern, you start turning them backwards. Our Disney Wish has a new propulsion system. There is no shaft line that needs to go into the ship. It gives the naval architect the opportunity to design the aft shape of the hull underwater almost freely so they can optimize the flow into the propeller in the best possible way. So these are big, right? The propellers are more than six meters. Now, this is two meters, so you can just think six meters in diameter. They're huge. We're in the Azipod room. And this is the port Azipod. And this is what's making us go forward. The propulsion system is, is the big buzz. But the other big new feature for us is the LNG system. LNG, of course, is liquid natural gas. It has less emissions, um, it's cleaner burning, and so all around a better fuel to use. So we're pleased to be part of that revolution. We're going to take that LNG on board. It's coming on at minus 164 degrees C, so we're dealing with cryogenic technology at the moment. We have two large tanks. They're about the size of 10 school buses. So we have two tanks that are 10 school buses each. That liquid comes on, so we then transform it into gas to put it into the engines. That has an expansion ratio from liquid into gas of 600 times. So if you think of 10 school buses then expanding 600 times, that's how much gas we have in each tank. Today is the day where we determine the maximum speed. We start the first measurement. Achtung! Yeah. Null! For us, it's very important to see that she reaches the right speed, that she maneuvers properly. Achtung! Null! She over-exceeded our expectations. The speed tests, the maneuvering trials, She'll use less energy. She's so silent, she'll be sailing more easily. We made sure that she's an awesome ship, and that is everything for us.